With any work problem, the first step would be to read the problem. This problem states, Cameron chopped tomatoes and peppers to make hot sauce. She used two and a half cups more tomatoes than peppers. If she filled a five and a half cup container with the tomatoes and peppers, how many cups of each ingredient did she use? After reading the problem, we need to make sure that we understand what the question is asking us. The question says, how many cups of each ingredient did she use? Looking back in the problem, I noticed that she used two ingredients. Therefore, I should have two answers when I am done. The next step in problem solving is to look inside of the problem story and find data. We know that she uses two and a half cups more tomatoes than peppers. Please note that this is not the same as using two and a half cups of tomatoes. We also know that the tomatoes and the peppers are the only ingredients that she uses, and both of those ingredients should total five and a half cups. It would be easy to solve this problem if I knew what one ingredient measured. However, we do not know how much tomatoes or peppers that Cameron uses. Therefore, I'm going to have to guess, check, and revise to find my answer. Since I know that I'm going to use the guess, check, and revise strategy, the first thing I need to do is to make a table. I'm going to write at the top of my table, guess. Underneath guess, I'm going to put what it is that I will be guessing. The question asks me how much of each ingredient does Cameron use. Therefore, I'm going to put each ingredient, peppers and tomatoes. After I guess each ingredient, the next step would be to check. Therefore, I'm going to write check. I will know if my answer is correct if I add the peppers plus the tomatoes and it equals five and one half. After I check if my answer is incorrect, I will revise or change my answer. Now because I know that peppers and tomatoes should both equal five and a half, I need to guess something less than five and a half. I can choose any number I would like. I'm going to start with a guess that she uses one cup of peppers. So underneath peppers, I will put one. The data tells me that she uses two and a half cups more tomatoes than peppers. So to find out how many tomatoes she uses, I would say one, the number of peppers I guessed, plus two and a half. One plus two and a half gives me three and a half. So if she uses one cup of peppers, then she needs to have used three and a half cups of tomatoes. To check to see if my answer is correct, I'm going to add one plus three and one half. That gives me four and a half. The total should have been five and a half, therefore my guess is wrong and I need to go higher in my guess. The next amount I'm going to guess is that she uses two cups of peppers. I'm going to place a two underneath peppers. Again, whatever amount she uses in peppers, she needs to have used two and a half cups more of the tomatoes. Therefore, I'm going to add two plus two and a half. That gives me four and a half. So if she uses two cups of peppers, then she would have used four and a half cups of tomatoes. To check to see if my answer is correct, I'm going to add peppers plus tomatoes. So two plus four and a half equals six and a half. The total should have been five and a half. Therefore, my guess is wrong and I need to go down. Hmm. The guess should have been more than one, but less than two. Now I'm going to try one and a half. If she uses one and a half cups of peppers and two and a half cups more of the tomatoes, I'm going to add one and a half plus two and a half. That gives me four. To check, I'm going to add one and a half plus four. 
the answer is five and a half. That is the correct amount. Therefore, my guesses are correct. The answers are that she uses one and a half cups of peppers and four cups of tomatoes.